Hi, I'm Derek Hilton, and my channel is all about photographing and filming wildlife. Now, what have I got in store for you today? Let's take a look. Well, hi, and welcome to the reserve I call my office. It's where I photograph and film my passion. That is the agile antichinus, small carnivorous marsupial. It's pretty well much taken over my life as far as photographing and filming goes. Now this film clip is all about me practicing at making documentaries. Just a little bit of a, a play, a bit of a muck around, and I'll give you some filming tips towards the end. Shall we get on with it? Follow me. I've actually written a script for a change, so we'll see how I go with that. Practice, keep uh, improving myself. Let's get this documentary started, shall we? With April comes the cold weather, and the silver wattle starts to grow its flower buds. Over the winter months, they slowly form. By July, they're starting to swell, to the point of bursting. And burst they do. A sea of yellow floods the reserve. From the last week of July to the first week of September is the breeding season for the Agile Antichinus. For male Agiles, life is coming to an end. Once the body switches to mating, there's no turning back. Testosterone levels flood the body. This will ultimately kill them. Time is ticking. Males search the reserve for females to mate with. But in the end, it's the female who chooses who she mates with. Breeding season has finished, all the males have died, leaving the females to bring up their joeys. Agiles are plagued with ticks, although it doesn't seem to bother them. Something that does bother the Agile are ants. Wherever there's food around, there's ants, and the Agile can't stand them touching their body drives them nuts. There are a lot of birds that nest within the reserve and occasionally they have contact with the Agile. It's not just birds that the Agile has contact with, it's also other animals that live within the reserve. The swamp rat. The native rat, the bogle. So the Agile has to share the reserve with birds and animals. Over the years, I've filmed a lot of them.
just time to wrap this video up. It's getting quite cold out here in the reserve. My jacket and beanie on. My tip of the day, be good to your mother. Oh, that's the wrong tip, isn't it? Photography tip of the day. If you want those outstanding shots and be able to get that once in a lifetime shot, you need to immerse yourself into the world of the animal or bird that you're interested in. Because I've been doing that, I know lots of different birds in the reserve, how they interact with each other and how they bring up their young. I get to see all those different poses that they do and one that would be that outstanding shot. And with the yellow robin, I can recreate that whenever I like. A classic shot of the yellow robin is landing on a tree and looking back at the subject that they're interested in, a worm or something on the ground. I can scratch the ground, the yellow robin's around, it'll immediately take interest in it because that's its natural thing. It, wombats and lyrebirds, they all scratch the ground and the yellow robin follows them. So scratching the ground, I can hopefully recreate that shot and nail it. So that's just a really good way of learning a subject, getting those really awesome shots. Well, that's enough for me today. If you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below and you'll get notification whenever I do anything else like clothing. I've talked about it before and I haven't done one, but it's coming soon. It's getting closer. If you'd like to go and have a look at all the things that I've already done, click on my icon down below. Take it to my channel. It's over 50 different videos there from me practicing, slowly improving over the years, hopefully. So yeah, have a look. Birds in flight, flash photography. Ah, there's tons of stuff. And just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. <sighs> I'm going home. <laughs> it's too cold. So yeah. stuffed up because I had the wrong sound on. Didn't have the external mic on. I haven't got my beanie on now. Woohoo! Wrap up time!